No, I mean, the reality is you got different players every single year. And guys have certain strengths, guys have certain weaknesses. And it's your job as a coach to navigate what can somebody do, what can they not do, and how to put them in the best position possible. And so you're trying to minimize weaknesses and maximize strengths. Um, I think what we've done a great job as a staff is not saying that we're overly reliant on a particular player to make something go. What we do is we are going to have a lot of weapons that we can use, whether it's tight ends or it's running backs or receivers, to replicate production, if that makes sense. What uh, excites you most about Garrett? Um, he's got a great edge to him. Um, great ball skills, can run really, really well. He's willing to be physical. Um, tough kid. Um, so those things excite me about Garrett. I would say that whole group, though, is pretty deep. And the entire position group plays with each other well. They supplement each other well. It's not a situation that you're going to have maybe somebody be an Iron Man and play all the time. Does that make sense? Have you got a starter yet? Or is it going to depend on the formations and who you're playing? Yeah. Well, first of all, we play with multiple personnel groups. So we'll put one guy on the field. We'll put two guys on the field, three guys on the field at a time. The way I look at it is that they're on that bus to travel. They're essentially all starters in a sense. Um, there'll be personnel packages where maybe if that's the first play of the game called, those guys are the starters, if that makes sense. And so they kind of play different roles. Um, they have different things that they're working in. Uh, uh, I would say it really is more of, I got a group of guys that are gonna play a lot and one may be out there for the first play, two of them may be out there for the first play, but they may end up playing a lot of equal snaps when the game's all said and done. Could you kind of run down just each of them what no. What, they, what their strengths are? Yeah, I would say um, you got Will Swanson, who's the most experienced player. Um, he's been here the longest, has great leadership, strong player, physical player, um, knows the offense really, really well, incredibly reliable. Um, Garrett Oakley, Braden Lofton, both really athletic guys. Backgrounds when they were young is that they were kind of receivers or safeties in high school, played different positions. Um, and so kind of a receiver that grew into being a tight end. Um, Will Ancio and Andrew Metzger, both bigger body guys, six foot five plus, six foot six guys that can weigh a little bit more and have a little bit more length and have good ball skills, but are, you know, longer, more physical guys at times. Um, but all of them, you know, to get on the bus, to travel, to do any of that, you have to demonstrate that you're willing to put your hat on somebody and that you're willing to block. We don't get away with here of, hey, this is a guy that shies away from contact because we just hide him in the scheme and he's just running narrow routes out to the flats and, and is never in the mix to be at the point of attack. And so I'd say all of them, regardless of what they do the best, they all have to know what's going on in the run game. And they all have to be physical at the point of attack um, and they all have to be able to catch the ball when they're open. And so um, whether someone's a pure vertical threat or not is a different question. Is there anyone that you think you'll be able to count on this season that maybe you weren't convinced of that prior to camp? You know, I think a lot of times as a coach, people get caught in a snapshot of someone at that time. Mm -hmm. And so you look at December of the year before and you're talking about, well, this is what this guy is. And then you get to spring and you get a little more, they've developed a little bit more, they play some more snaps and they're a little bit better. And then after spring, they develop a whole lot more in the summer. I've been really impressed with guys that we haven't seen on the field yet, like <clears throat> Braden Lofton, like Will Ancio, like Andrew Metzger. Seeing how much those guys have come along from the end of spring ball till now, they've all had really, really strong camps and they're all really competitive. And so I'm excited to see all three of those guys. We all know about Will Swanson because we've seen him in a game. We all know about Garrett Oakley because we've seen him in a game. But those other guys that haven't gotten to play yet, they've demonstrated they have a right or an ability to get out there and compete at the power four level. One of the things, Ben, that 